Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Professor Dr. Muhammad Usman, and uh, today, by the name of Allah Almighty, uh, we are starting the physiology of uh, respiration. And in today's uh, short video, uh, we will learn about uh, the definition of the respiration and we will see that uh, what is meant by upper and lower respiratory tract and which functions are performed by uh, these tracts. So, uh, respiration consists of uh, four steps. Uh, the first step is exchange of gases between this atmosphere and our lungs. Okay? Uh, oxygen comes from the atmosphere to the lungs, especially to the alveoli and carbon dioxide moves in the reverse direction that it, it moves from lungs to the atmosphere. Then uh, second step is the exchange of gases, exchange of ga gases which occurs in the lungs. Oxygen moves from the alveoli to the blood and carbon dioxide moves from the blood to the alveoli. Then the third step is the transport of gases, transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen moves from the lungs to the tissues while the carbon dioxide moves from the tissues to the lungs. And the fourth uh, step of the respiration is exchange at the level of tissues where oxygen is transported is uh, moves from the blood to the tissues and carbon dioxide moves from the tissues to the blood. So, this is our respiration which consists of uh, four steps. Uh, sometimes the term is used which is called cellular respiration. Now, cellular respiration is uh, basically use of oxygen in the mitochondria for the production of ATP. So, we know that oxygen is used in the mitochondria and ATP is synthesized. So, this is called uh, cellular respiration. Now, uh, we come to the respiratory tract and anatomically we can divide the respiratory tract into two major portions as you can see here that is the upper respiratory tract here and the lower respiratory tract. So, the upper respiratory tract it ranges from this nose then comes the nasal cavity then comes the pharynx and finally larynx. So, up to the level of larynx from entrance to the larynx this is upper respiratory tract and from trachea down to the these bronchi and all these bronchioles up to the level of terminal bronchioles this is lower respiratory tract. Okay, I repeat from entrance to larynx this is upper respiratory tract and from trachea down this is all lower respiratory tract. So, lower respiratory tract basically starting from the trachea it divides again and again and again. So, we get various portions of the lower respiratory tract. Trachea divides to form primary, primary bronchi, then primary bronchi divide to form secondary bronchi, they divide to form tertiary bronchi, which further divide to form bronchioles and bronchioles they lead to the terminal bronchioles. Then terminal bronchioles, they further divide to form respiratory bronchioles, which lead to the alveolar ducts and alveoli as you can see here. Now, the portion in which upper respiratory tract plus all these structures are included or we can say from entrance up to the level of terminal bronchiole all this portion is called conducting zone or conducting portion while the respiratory bronchioles alveolar ducts and alveoli this portion is called exchange portion so these two are the physiological deviants of the respiratory tract Okay. Anatomically, we divide respiratory tract into upper and lower and physiologically, we divide into conducting zone and exchange zone. And I repeat that in the conducting zone, the structures right from the entrance that is nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea and up to the level of terminal bronchioles. All this is conducting zone because it basically serves to conduct air. While these three, they are included in the exchange zone. Now, let us talk about their functions. Uh, one thing I would like to uh, narrate here that from the level of trachea up to the level of alveoli, okay? from the level of trachea up to the level of alveoli, there are about 24 divisions of the respiratory tract. That is respiratory tract divides and divides and divides 
until we get alveoli and in this whole process the tract has divided almost 24 times. Now uh, conducting zone performs three main functions. <coughs> Number one, it causes conditioning of the air. This conducting zone as you can see here, this causes conditioning of the air. Then it provides a low resistance pathway for the flow of air and finally it serves also for the phonation. I am talking to you right now because uh, my vocal cords and they are present also in the conducting zone. So these are the three uh, major functions uh, of the conducting zone and uh, here you may ask that what is meant by conditioning. So basically conditioning uh, includes three processes that is warming of the air to the body temperature that is about 37 centigrade, humidifying air so that air can easily it can be transported and exchanged at the level of the lungs and filtering air. So warming, humidifying and filtering air all these three means conditioning of the air. Now filtration uh, in our respiratory tract it occurs through five major mechanisms by means of air, by means of turbulence, by the gravity, by mucociliary escalator and by macrophages. First of all, here in the nose, they trap gross dust particles. Okay. Then turbulence, uh, it is caused by various uh, obstructions in the upper respiratory tract like uh, by the this nasal septum, by these nasal turbinates which are three in number and by also by the pharyngeal walls. So these uh, obstructions, they cause turbulence to the air and uh, because of this turbulence, any particle in the air which is uh, greater than 6 micron it is precipitated. Okay. So uh, these are the three turbinates in the no nasal cavity which are very important superior, middle and inferior turbinate. So they not only cause turbulence to the inspired air but because of their rich vascularization they also cause humidifying of the air to about 98% water saturation and they also serve to warm the air. So when air it passes over these richly vascularized nasal turbinates, uh, it is warmed up to about 34 centigrade and it is also humidified. So uh, now come back, we come back to the uh, other uh, means of the uh, uh, this uh, filtration of air. Right now we were discussing the filtration of the air and we discussed that filtration is caused by air, by the turbulence and then comes the gravity, the role of gravity. Now gravity uh, also serves to filter the air and the particles which are less than 6 micron in size. The particles which are less than 6 micron in size and they are present in the air, they are you know, precipitated due to their weight, due to gravity. Okay. Then comes the role of very important structure in the uh, this conducting zone which is called mucociliary escalator. As you will see here, this is mucociliary escalator. Uh, now it consists of two main structures as the name indicates that is mucus, this is the layer of mucus and this is cilia. So that is why it is called mucociliary escalator, the cilia which are present over the respiratory cells. Okay. Now uh, this uh, structure uh, serves to move any particles which are 0.5 to 1 micron in size, mainly these are dust particles, uh, they are trapped in this layer of the mucus and then these cilia they move upward towards the as is shown here they move towards the pharynx and they move these particles to the pharynx or throat where these particles are cleared by expectoration. So uh, this is the role of mucociliary escalator and lastly the fifth and final mechanism uh, major mechanism of filtering of air is macrophages, alveolar macrophages which serve to remove any smaller uh, particles and uh, also pathogens or bacteria. So this was all about the conducting zone. Then comes the exchange zone or respiratory zone. Uh, it consists of three main things that is respiratory bronchioles as we saw earlier, alveolar ducts and alveoli. So uh, this is the terminal bronchiole which is in the conducting zone and this is also terminal bronchiole and it divides to form these respiratory bronchioles. So this portion uh, where the cursor is pointing to this is the respiratory bronchiole and as you can observe that uh, here we have got some gas exchange alveoli over these respiratory bronchioles. So these respiratory bronchioles that is why 
दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन द एक्सचेंज जोन और रेस्पिरेटरी जोन सो रेस्पिरेटरी ब्रोंक्यूल्स दे लीड टू दीज एलवेलर डक्ट्स विच इज शोन हेयर एंड एलवेलर डक्ट्स दे लीड टू द एलवेलाई विच आर द मेजर गैस एक्सचेंज पोर्शन सो समिंग अप ऑल दिस टूगैदर आवर रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट कैन बी फिजोलॉजिकली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू मेन जोन दैट इज कंडक्टिंग जोन विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द नोज और निजल कैविटी एंड इट एक्सटेंड्स अप टू द लेवल ऑफ दिस टर्मिनल ब्रोंक्योल एंड दिस पोर्शन सर्व टू कंडीशनिंग ऑफ द एयर एंड आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स अ लो रजिस्टेंस पैसेज वे फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ एयर एंड आल्सो काजेज फोनेशन ऑफ द एयर एंड देन कम्स द एक्सचेंज जोन इन विच द रेस्पिरेटरी ब्रोंक्योल्स एलवेल डक्ट्स एंड एलवेलाई आर इंक्लूडेड एंड दिस इज द पोर्शन वेयर एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज टेक्स प्लेस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग टूडेज वीडियो स्टे ब्लेस्ड ऑल ऑफ यू हैप्पी लर्निंग अल्लाह हाफिज़